Edits is the new free video editing tool from Meta, and in this five minute video, I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, so first things first, you need to download the app onto your phone. It's called Edits, it's free. And once you download it onto your phone, if you're already logged into Instagram or Facebook on those apps on your phone, it will probably prompt you to log in as that user as it did for me. Once you're logged in, you'll start a new project and add your clips and your footage from your phone gallery. You do need to allow some permissions initially to let your device know that this app is safe to access whatever you'd like it to be able to access. After you've added your clips, in this example, I just added a couple random clips from my phone. So this is not gonna look like the best video I'm actually gonna be posting to Reels or anything, but you'll add your footage and you'll see that the interface looks very similar to Instagram's editing features, you know, whenever you go to edit a Reel or TikTok as well, or CapCut. So it's very much similar if you're familiar with those. If you're not, take a look around at the different options that you have. You can select one of your clips and drag the sidebars to shorten the clip or lengthen the clip. If you click on it and click the split tool, that will allow you to cut the video into pieces. So for example, if you're talking and you make a mistake and you want to cut out a mistake that's in the middle of the video, hit the split tool and then you'll be able to shorten that clip and get that mistake out of there before you post it. It also has your standard features like adding audio, which I really like because it's from Meta Sound Library. So I did a test with this. I exported a video that I made in edits. I uploaded it as a trial reel to Instagram to see how the music that I chose within edits would connect to Instagram. And it added it properly. It's in Instagram's music library. So whenever you look at my video, you see the proper attribution for the song, which I was curious about. So I'm really glad that it's very seamless, that we can now edit and add our music in one place and then upload it to Instagram or Facebook from there. A couple exciting features that I think Edits has that I'm really interested in is one, the overlay tool. So this makes it really easy to add an image or a video overlaid on top of another video or image. So this is helpful for stacking or if you wanted to upload a testimonial on top of your video, that makes it really quick and easy. Another tool I really like is the cutout tool. So if you want to cut out yourself or someone or something else in your video, you can upload the video, use the cutout tool, and it will automatically cut out whatever it detects or you can manually do it. And so in this example, I think something a little bit more full body would make more sense, but since I'm a little cut off, it looks a little funky, but I think it worked really well, really quick. And it cut me out and then I was able to overlay it on top of any video that I wanted. Again, quick example, probably doesn't make the most sense, but you can get a sense for what that looks like in this example. Another feature I really like is the voiceover feature. So you can record your voiceover straight in the app, and then you can use the captions feature to auto caption the voiceover that you just recorded. So I'm doing that in this example where I recorded a voiceover and then I added those auto-generated captions for what I was saying in the video. Another thing that I really like about this app that makes it different is the sound effects library that it has. So you can choose from a variety of different short sound effects to add to your video to make them even more engaging. Now, as a social media marketer, I don't typically recommend going overboard with these types of things, but in some cases it can be really useful to add a sound effect to your video. So I really like that there's a built-in library in this app for that. When you are all done making all of your edits, you can rename your project to keep things organized. You can change the quality of the export so you can make it up to 4K. And then whenever you click export, you can share it directly to Instagram or Facebook or it will save to your device and you can then post it on other apps as well. Now, this is a brand new app, so I did encounter an issue with exporting one of my videos. I tried a couple times and it wasn't working, so I ended up closing the app, reopening it, and exporting again, and that time it did work. So just a small glitch that you might encounter as this app works out its new bugs. That is your super quick run through tutorial of the brand new free video editing tool from Meta. They've shared that they have a lot of updates planned, so I'm sure new features will be added regularly. But for now, it's basic, it's simple, but it's easy to use. And I really like that because I'm always getting asked about easy editing tools. So 
definitely check this one out. I think this is going to be one that I am using often. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and like to hear about other social media and marketing updates, be sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.